go ahead and give a try to the waffle and let me know what you guys think. Are these different they, than the first They look ones pretty. No. Uh, this morning I'm using our silicone waffle maker to make waffles in the oven and I'm gonna give a review let you know what we think about how it works if it works well um, it would be a great option for people who are in an RV because it's lightweight and it doesn't take up much space and it really wasn't that expensive either so I've started off by laying my waffle molds in a, a tray um, you're supposed to put it on a cookie sheet I don't have a cookie sheet that is the width of the oven so I took this broiler pan and just took the top off of it and I set them down in there. So it, they barely just fit so I'm hoping that will be alright. I already have the oven preheated. It's supposed to be 430 degrees because I keep, think these came from China where they use metric system or Celsius, you know. Um, so 430 um our stove goes from 400 to 450 so i just put it right between um i've already greased these molds with just cooking spray um because i figured it would probably help everything to come out better even though this is silicone i don't want anything to stick so that i can go from one batch of waffles to the next Here's my waffle batter, Walmart brand complete pancake and waffle mix. And you just add water for pancakes and water and oil for waffles. And so I've already made that up. And I think I'm going to get a quarter cup scoop to scoop this out with so we can keep things uniform. Hopefully that'll be enough to fill the molds. It's said to fill them up to the top of these little triangles. So. I'm going to fill it just to where um, you can see the tops of these sticking out. Okay, so a quarter cup was not enough. Um, so over here I had already done a quarter cup and I added in another quarter cup which makes a half a cup. Um, and then this side I tried one third cup. And so we'll see which one does better. Um, I have a feeling that this might raise up and be too much, so I'm thinking maybe third cup is going to be the best but we will see when it comes out um, and we're going to put it in for I think it said nine to ten minutes so we'll start with nine and go from there It's been about 10 minutes actually. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And as you can see, the half a cup side actually didn't overflow. But this one looks okay too. Um, now it says to flip it out of the pan. And I'm gonna, well, maybe I'll flip it over in the same pan actually, because we have to put it back in the oven just to crisp up the tops of them a little bit. So let's see what happens when we flip this guy over. Oh, they popped right out. Oh, it's hot, 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 hot. So they flipped out, it looks good. Nice little waffles here. Flip this one over. Oh. That silicone gets really hot. Ooh, um, I know when it's blue. Yeah, I kind of like these ones are a little thicker. Ooh, these are more really thin. So we're going to go with a half a cup on the next batch. I'm going to throw these back in the oven to crisp up for just a couple minutes. So, all in all, um, it's going to be probably 15 minutes total for eight waffles um, and that's less than two minutes per waffle which on a waffle maker I don't know I guess it's about about the same maybe although these are smaller waffles than what you get off a waffle maker so 
I don't know. I don't know if it makes any time difference. Um, but for us, if if it works out, if they taste good, then I'd say it's it's a good thing. So we'll let you know. We'll see how they come out of the oven, crisped up in a couple minutes, and then we'll let the boys let you know how the waffles are. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's like some uh, like grainy residue. It's, it's almost like it's almost like really fine cornmeal or something. I don't know if it's just the particular box batter grossness that we used. Um, I typically like to make my own waffle mix, but today I used the pre-made stuff. Honey, they're in the oven, sweetheart. I don't know if it's like, it's just really gritty, almost like fine sand. And so before I put the next batch in, I'm going to um, just rinse it out. It's not stuck on or anything. It's just almost like what they use on the bottom of a pizza pan. It's just gritty. Um, I'm gonna rinse that out before I put the next batch in so that it can have a nice smooth start to the next batch. They've now had time to crisp up in the oven. These ones have a nice like light, nice and crispy. These ones that were thin are like, Don't eat yet. you know, a little bit a little bit hard and overdone because they were thin. These are perfect, so I think half a cup is perfect for this mold. And a little light syrup on there. Okay, you already broken into his. Just a little dribbles of syrup. So the boys have already had some berries this morning, that's why their plates look like that. Go ahead and give a try to the waffle and let me know what you guys think. Are these different they, than the first They look ones pretty. No. What do you think? Mm. They're real good. Are they real good? Mm -hmm. Do they look nice? Mm -hmm. Do you think our waffle maker is doing a good job? Mm -hmm. Yep. Looks pretty good. The other ones that you did with the um with the the buckwheat ones. Mm. Yeah, those Yum. ones. Those ones are kind of fall apart, yum, yum. but they still tasted good. Yeah, the other ones, I did make a batch of waffles with this um, a couple days ago, but it was a gluten-free um, buckwheat kind of recipe. And so I wanted to try again with just a regular waffle recipe. Um, and I thought the gluten-free buckwheat ones came out really well. I didn't think they fell apart really. They're just a little bit different texture. So that's my review on the silicone waffle molds. And if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more reviews, more family, more fun. We've got it all here. And um, if, uh, if you want to purchase something like this, I will link it below in the description. And you can help support us by using our Amazon affiliates. And we really, really appreciate that. So many of you guys have purchased through our Amazon affiliates and it is helping us out so much. It doesn't cost you a thing. It's absolutely free for you to use our Amazon affiliates link. Um, they just send us a little kickback to say thanks for sending us customers. If you are interested in these, it'll be linked down below in the description. And remember, we can make the world better. Get it? Better? I believe we can. <laughs>